The first concentration camp built by the Nazis which opened on the 22nd of March 1933 was Dachau. The site became infamous during the Second World War and before, for horrific suffering and torture, and over 188,000 prisoners passed through the gates, but over 41,000 were killed there by the treatment and conditions they were forced to live in. It was opened by Heinrich Himmler, but it became a huge site which operated from Hitler's time in power until the end of the Second World War, when it was liberated by the Americans. The liberators found a horrific and terrible sight, with hundreds of bodies being stuffed inside of trains, and then reprisals occurred against the SS guards who were caught there. Some American troops enacted their own form of justice, taking a machine gun to a number of guards. But there was one man who was instrumental in the killing process and torture of Dachau, but after the war he was brought to trial, and was sentenced to death for his crimes. Alexander Piokovsky was a commandant between 1940 to 1942, and under his leadership thousands were killed. Join us today as we look at his execution, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Alexander Piokovsky was born in Bremen in Germany on the 11th of October 1904, and as a young man he was a mechanic, and then he worked as a travelling merchant in the aftermath of the First World War. He visited different areas, but was then attracted to the politics of the Nazi party and Hitler. He became a member of the SA or the Brown Shirts in June 1929, but then after this he then joined the SS in June 1933. He also had previously become a member of the Nazi party, and was seen as a reliable and effective leader of men and soldiers. Because of this he was given charge of the SS Standarte in Bremen, his hometown, and then he was given command the following year of the SS Standarte Allenstein. But despite being involved in the SS, he retired from service with the group for his health on the 19th of September 1936. But he was still seen as a reliable and useful member of the SS, and was then approached by Himmler to become the commandant of Lichtenburg concentration camp. He accepted this position, and was in control there for only a few months, from July 1937 to December 1937, before it was then converted to an all-female camp. Lichtenburg was a camp which was housed inside of a former Renaissance castle in Pretin near to Wittenburg in Saxony. It was one of the first to be built by the Nazis and was operated by the SS from 1933 to 1939. Over the years there had been many different commandants including Fyodor Eicher, who had also become the commandant of Dachau, but also Hermann Baranowski, who served at Dachau as a senior guard. Lichtenburg could hold up to 2,000 male prisoners to begin with, and then it underwent a significant transition in 1937, where the male prisoners were moved out and it became an all-female camp, years before Ravensbrück would be opened. The prison was rather run down, and as in most of the early camps, the prisoners were referred to as political prisoners, or prisoners in protective custody. All of the women would be transferred from this camp to Ravensbrück when it closed, in May 1939, and this then replaced Lichtenburg, who was the main camp inside the Third Reich for female prisoners. It was a site there that over time had become very overcrowded as the Nazis rounded up more women and the conditions there were rather poor and it's believed food rations were not sufficient enough and also disease was spreading there. Alexander Piokovsky remained here until August 1938 and was then transferred across to Dachau. To begin with he served as a Schutz half Lagerführer which was someone who was in charge of the economic production at the camp. Piokovsky was seen as an important administrator he was also known for mistreating victims and driving them to work harder to ultimately make more profit for the Nazis. He was involved in maintaining order and would have taken roll call daily and ensured law and order was maintained. It was a senior position and underneath him were the Rapportführer and also the Oberaufseherins and they were also responsible for the staff in some regards. But he was then made the Commandant of Dachau which meant he was in charge of the whole huge site's operation. Dachau was mentioned as a huge and colossal concentration camp, with over 40,000 people being killed there. Many different prisoners found themselves at the camp, including priests, and before Piakowski came, there were many deaths that had already occurred. In his time in control, over 4,000 Soviet prisoners of war were sent to their deaths by Piakowski, as he ordered them to be shot dead and executed at a nearby SS shooting range found two kilometres from the camp at Herberthausen. These killings were a terrible crime, and the first executions occurred on the 25th of November 1941. 
but during his time in control, the number of prisoners coming to Dachau rose heavily, and many thousands of people came there. The prisoner enclosure at the camp was heavily guarded to make sure that no one escaped, and guards would happily shoot at prisoners if they tried to escape. It was a sight of pure terror, and Piakowski was the one leading the camp, and horrific torture methods were used there to strike fear into the hearts of the inmates. Standing cells were found there, in which the inmates were thrown into a tiny cell, and were expected to be in there for days on end, and they could not sit in there, being forced to stand for 24 hours a day. Floggings took place in public too, with inmates who had infringed on the rules being whipped brutally. Some were even killed by this. Tree or pole hangings were used, in which an inmate was suspended from the air. Also executions took place of prisoners who were not fit enough to work, and as time went on the conditions at Dachau became worse. Many died from disease, exhaustion, starvation and violence as time went on, and many would decide to simply touch the electrified fence to end their ordeal quickly. During Piakowski's time in charge, hundreds of priests would be transported to Dachau too, and many were then selected to be used in horrific Nazi medical experiments. But on the 31st of August 1943, Alexander Piakowski was then sacked as the Commandant of Dachau, as he had been accused of corruption charges and embezzling money out of the camp. There were many former Commandants of different camps who could just not help themselves, and for this he was sacked, and it's not known what he did after. But at the end of the Second World War, he was summoned by the US Army to trial, and the Americans forced him to answer in front of a judge about the crimes he had committed as a Commandant of Dachau. His trial took place as part of the Dachau Trials, from the 6th to the 17th of January 1947. Previously, many former guards had been sentenced to death and executed in the trials there, and Alexander Piakowski was then charged with crimes against humanity, deportation, abduction and ill-treatment of prisoners at Dachau. Many witnesses came forward to testify against him, and he was then sentenced to death for his crimes. Alexander Piakowski then tried to overturn his death sentence, and he petitioned a number of times for a pardon, but regardless he was still taken to Landsborg prison. This was a site where hundreds of Nazi war criminals would be executed after the war, and Piokowski was held there before he was executed. On the morning of the 22nd of October 1948, after being held at Landsberg for over a year, he was taken out of his cell into a courtyard where the gallows stood. He was flanked by US military police officers and a priest, and he was led up the steps of the gallows, after his identity was confirmed. He was then handed over to the executioner, who placed a black cap over his head, and then the noose. Following this, he was shuffled over the trap door, and this was then released, and Alexander Piokowski, the commandant of Dachau, was left hanging. After death was confirmed, he was then placed in a coffin, and was then cremated. Alexander Piokowski was the commandant of Dachau, who was responsible for the deaths of thousands inside one of the most evil concentration camps of them all. He helped to instill a reign of terror, and told the guards to brutally beat and whip prisoners, to make sure they fell into line. His death sentence at the end of the war was little justice for the people who were imprisoned there, but there was some debate as to how active Piakowski was at his time in Dachau, as he has been accused of being someone who delegated most of his responsibilities that resulted in crimes to those people who were underneath him. But ultimately he met his end at the gallows of Landsberg Prison. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.